Hi, welcome everybody to a new tutorial of the Architects Notes. We're going to see today how to create uh, stretch parameters and visibility parameters and assign them to blocks in AutoCAD. Um, I'm going to upload this video as well uh, without my voiceover and maybe some background music. I will put the link now, it should pop up right now in the top right corner. So if you prefer to see the video like that, please just click on the link and see it like that. Um, let's start. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just going to create a rectangle. I'm gonna put it here. Let's say 200. I'm gonna delete the old one, so it's not confusing. The first thing we're gonna do is to create the block. So I type block. I am gonna call it um, wall parameters. I'm going to select a base point and that's it. Okay, I click OK and then here we have it. Um, to add the parameters, sorry, a small uh, break, to add these parameters that we're going to see, we have to click in block editor and not edit the block in place because we can lose the parameters and yeah, it can be a bit, uh, uh, we can create a bit of a mess here. Um, if you want to to learn how to edit block in places, uh, in place, sorry, you can just select, uh, click on the link. You will see up uh, right there in the in the screen. So let's select the the block, go to block editor, and here we are in the block editor world. Um, this is just right now. It's just a, a rectangle, and here at the left side, we see a small window with a few tabs. These tabs are are in this order because of something. We first have to create parameters, then actions, then blah blah blah. So we just go to the first tab that is parameters. We're going to create a linear parameter. There is just a dimension. We're going to see this is the distance we want to apply our parameter to. We could also create another one. We could say, okay, we have another parameter here and we could, uh, we could create as well uh, a stretch parameter in the this other direction, applying it to this dimension. But for the purpose of this video, we just stick to this distance. We create this parameter, and now we go to the next tab that is actions. In actions, we have many different actions. In this video, we're just going to see the stretch, but you can play with the other ones. Let's click in stretch. We select the parameter that is this distance, and now it says. Uh, where do you want to apply this parameter? Where do you want where do you want it to be seen? Do you want to be in this side of the block? You see? You see the X how it changes? If I hover here, I didn't click anything, I you just see it changing. So you can select here, but here we have the base point of the block, so I don't want it to be there. It can be a bit messy. So I, I just click here. I click, and then it's assigned to this side of the block and then Specifies, specify first corner of stretch frame. So you just select this, you do this, and now, because you're saying, hey, I'm gonna stretch, I want to stretch everything that is here, and now you select this rectangle and you click enter. So if we close the block editor now, we save the changes, we have just a rectangle that can be a wall, can be a whatever, you see that I, I use the 18 or the 12 millimeters because more than for walls, I, I normally use this for plywood elements or gypsum boards or things like that when I'm doing details, okay? Um, so let's go back. We have the 18 millimeters uh, stretchable rectangle. Now we go back to the block editor. And now what we're going to do is we copy this 18 millimeters Sorry, I'm going to put it back, and and that was a mistake, sorry. This is right now 18, let's do it of 12, because first we need to create both rectangles, right? And not only that, but we have to apply this stretch action to both rectangles. So let's apply it to the new uh, rectangle that we created. We The parameter is already here but the stretch action is not applied yet. So we select the parameter again, we repeat the same action. So we click here, first corner, 
and now we select only the 12 millimeters one okay we select enter right now we have two rectangles but if we close the block editor you will see that there is we just select the block there is no visibility there is nothing yet but if we do this we can stretch the block okay so we go back block editor the next parameter that we're going to do is the visibility parameter so we put it here i think is the best is the most convenient spot is in the base point of the block and we click we put it there and there we have it visibility parameter when we do this we see there is a small tab a small window here up here so we go here we see there is only one visibility state but if we come here we can create a list of different visibility states so we're going to rename this and we're going to say 12 millimeters and we're going to create a different state that is 18 millimeters click OK and now still nothing happened so if we go here we can select but nothing happens why? because we have to assign visibility and invisibility to the different rectangles depending on which state we are so here you can see that we have the make visible so right now we are in the 12 millimeters we clicked here and now we're gonna say a hey, the visible rectangle here is the 12 millimeters one we select it we click enter and here make invisible we select it and we click here in the 18 enter and there we have it if we go back to the 18 we still see both rectangles so we repeat the same we select objects, we make the 18 millimeters visible, and we make the 12 millimeters invisible. This thing that you can see here is just for, it's a very useful uh, visibility mode, but it's only while you are working here in the block editor, okay? So here, if you click, what you are seeing is the, the invisible objects as well so you can compare and you can use it as a reference but it's only in the block editor it's not affecting in what's going to happen lately uh, to the block okay we just applied this visibility parameter we have the stretch parameters as well we close the block editor we save the changes and now if we select the block we have here the visibility 12 millimeters we check indeed it's 12 and we see that we can stretch it and we also have the 18 millimeters we check and we see that it's also stretchable okay this could also be done with a hatch if you have a hatch for these gypsum boards or for this plywood whatever um, so it can be very useful for you if you think it actually was useful please uh, like and subscribe the video uh, to the channel sorry uh, it's very useful for us it, it yeah it's very helpful so um, please also leave comments if you have any doubts or you you would like to see something else and see you in the next video bye